and this is the request to purchase new firefighter turnout gear. Mr. Ty. Good morning. We recently um, conducted our annual gear inspection every year at the fire department. Um, we'll inspect all of the gear that all of our firefighters use. This is their protective equipment they use when they go into a fire. And we do that inspection to make sure that it's um, within the the age age range for the useful life of the gear and also it's in um, good enough condition so if there's any repairs need to be made or it needs to be replaced so that our people have the the proper protection when they do go into a fire so after that inspection we identified 14 sets of gear um, that belong to our volunteer firefighters that either um, because of the age of the gear it's about to um, run out of its 10-year window when NFPA says you, you have to replace it, or the condition of the gear, um, it just needs to be replaced, or in most cases, a combination of the two. Um, so uh, just like we've done the last last time we made we purchased gear for our paid staff, um, we solicited um, bid prices through MPPGov, which is a national contract. So it's basically the same premise of the state contract, it's just on a national level and provided each of the vendors with the specifications. And so the lowest, um, you have the, the um, pricing in front of you, the, the vendor that provided the lowest pricing based on this contract price, um, we would just request that we be allowed to purchase the 14 sets of gear to replace um, the gear for those firefighters. So I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have about this request. Uh, Chief Ty, is the uh, turnout gear, is it kind of, custom fitted or does it kind of come like in a generic size so you you can do both um in the in the past um you know i think um uh, previous chiefs maybe had had done a combination but mostly it was off the shelf you just buy a a set of gear um this is you know everything we've bought at least since i've been here has been custom fitted um, where we actually take measurements and a lot of the reason behind that um, you know we've been able to negotiate so pricing difference has not been been huge um, but the the benefit to me and the reason that I um, think we owe it to them to go that extra mile is um, as I think I've stated before one of the biggest causes of firefighter injuries is not getting burned it's overexertion strokes heart attacks those type of things and a lot of those come about because you know, if you've got that stiff, you know, just that off-the-shelf gear that's, you know, um, not built to any one person, you know, <clears throat> then sometimes that gear works against you. So if we can have something fits more comfortable, allows them to move easier, they're not working as hard. So hopefully that's going to reduce the likelihood. And, and I think with volunteer firefighters, that's um, in some cases even more important because, you know, our, our paid staff, you know, we – you know, we know they get annual physicals and and um, but a lot of times the volunteers you know they may or may not get a physical on their own and um, you know when you when you're sitting at home you're in a dead sleep and you have to get up and drive the fire station going from that zero to 100 so any little thing we can do to to make their job safer that's so that's one of the reasons that that we kind of um, have gone and gotten this custom fitted gear Good, but I would agree with that because, again, safety it does have a lot to do with the equipment that you are yes, wearing as well. Yes, sir. If it's sloppily fitting or too that, tight, right. then, then it becomes a safety hazard mm -hmm. itself. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Any questions for Mr. Tuff? Yeah, the quick question. Yes. When you uh, refer to gear, you're speaking of the helmet, uh, the, the body suit, so, and so, the tank. Yeah, so this, this gear that we're asking, so um, all of that is gear. Um, uh, but there's different com components, so we like we buy the helmets separately. We buy the SCBAs separately. So this is just the coat and the pants that they put on when they go into a fire. So, you know, obviously their whole ensemble would be, you know, they'd have their boots, their gloves, their helmet, a hood, all that. But what we're requesting here is just the coat and the pants. Okay. How many sets do we have? Does the county have? Do you know. Um, so <clears throat> we have one set per. Um, per firefighter so that's 93 each of our paid guys have a backup set so that if they have a fire today they can wash that gear and while it's drying they've still when they come on 
you know the their next shift they've got they've got something to wear and then we do have some on the shelf as you know if somebody leaves or to make sure you know it, and it's it's older gear but you know as we have new volunteers come in so um i could get you an exact number that's um, close enough i was just curious if it, roughly about how many sets we have so okay. thank you any other questions okay thank you chief Tom. Mm -hmm.